Hello, hi, and welcome to today's tutorial in which we are going to look at um, basic mathematic operations and we see advantages of SCL, uh, Structure Control List Language. Um, so let's get right into it. I have prepared six variables here in a database. That's all I have. I have configured a hardware configuration in, in a database with six numbers here, with six um, variables, and that's it. My program so far is empty. Right. So basic mathematic operations. Of course, we can get those if we are. So my this is just my main function, right? In here, I can just if I want to add two numbers, right? I just take my add block, and now I put my add block here, and I can say, hey, number one. I just drag and drop my number one here plus my number two. Will be number three, right? That's it. This is this is how I can do mathematic operations. So if I download now, and I should have done that earlier, so it's faster now. Um, so if I download now, I can see this mathematic operation takes place, and then we will slowly add on to this, and you will see, hey, there's some limitations on on this doing it in um, ladder logic or function block diagram, and then we will switch over to SCL actually. So we see both numbers are zero. If I change this number here now to 13, we see 13 plus zero is 13. Of course, 13 plus uh, seven, that's 20. Here we go, right? Now, if I want to now multiply this number by four, what do I have to do? Hey, I take the next block, I take a multiplication block here, I can take this. And then again, I take my number three and I would need to create a new number, right? But I can also make it um, a fixed value, like multiplied by three. And this goes back onto the same number, right? It can go back in there. Right? And now I download again and we see this should work perfectly fine. So now I have 20, 20 times three, that's 60. So one problem that we can already see if I now um, go on like this, like another multiplication, another subtraction, you see this gets kind of big and annoyingly big. Of course, that's how it is. <laughs> that's just what we have. Um, so basic operations, it's good to build from those blocks. But if we get to more complex things, of course, we don't want to use those blocks anymore. Uh, what we would do, what we could do is we could take this calculate block, calculate on here, and there we could put a formula in. Right. There we could put a formula, for example, what was the same that we just had. Um, yeah, in one plus in two times three, I think we had. Uh, and you see, I cannot put a uh, constant here. I already need another input pl plus in three. Uh, select the data type. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, of course. Now I need to select the data type here, which is integer. Um, we need a new input, right? We need the new input here that we have. And now I could basically put my variables here again. Here you go. Here you go. This one is three as the constant. And we have this at the output side. So you can already see a lot of advantages that this calculate block has. And that is pretty awesome, right? I love this calculate block. It takes away a lot of calculations that you would have to build up. And that's good. <coughs> um, of course, if you want to divide and everything like this, like if you want to have a division in here, uh, now instead of multiplied by three, let's divide by, let's divide by it, right? Let's divide by three. What's going to happen? If I'm using int numbers, of course, we won't have the correct result. So 13 plus seven, that's 20 divided by three. That's not six, that's 6.3. 6.66666, of course, because we're using integer numbers, we cut off the results. If I would now take my real number here, for example, at the output, it would still not work because now I need to change this, of course, also to real. So let's see, right? Stuff like this. Now I have 6.66666 and you see those little typecast things here everywhere. That's the calculate block. Pretty cool. Pretty cool already. Uh, there's, of course, fine tuning with data types and stuff like this, which is not the goal of this video. I just want to show you one advantage of um, SCL. Not just one advantage, but huge advantages. So 
One problem that we have, if I now add more and more inputs here, we have more inputs on this side um, and the formula, if we want to change something, it's always annoying to actually get back into it because you always need to have input and then this input is linked to the output, uh, to, to the variable here. There must be an easier way. Of course there is. When you're working in TIA, you can always right click on a network and you always have the option to insert an SCL network. And of course, there's better ways. We could have an SCL function that actually does some calculation for us. But we can also, while we're doing it here, directly insert an SCL network. And now I have this here. SCL is a little bit like C programming. Like, like it's actually just simulated C programming. It still doesn't really work like one of those higher languages, but it looks like it. Um, my recommendation is not to do all your program in um, SCL. Parts of it, definitely, but not all of it. Right? So, for example, it is good for mathematical calculations. Right? So, what we can do here, this calculate block, it's huge. Like, if I, if I even, I could even make it bigger, right? Some calculations need 20 variables or even more, stuff like that. Um, in SCL, we can actually make that way easier. I can just take my numbers again here. So number three should be the result. Number three should be colon equal sign. This is an assignment. If you see colon equal sign, this is an assignment. It's not just an equal sign. This won't work. You see that? You need a colon. So two points and an equal sign. Two points and an equal sign will work. That's what you need. It's also not two equal signs. It is a double point and equal sign. Very important. So if I now say um, my output three should be number one, I can do that plus number two, right? And I can just closing brackets, like writing a standard formula, closing brackets times three. And we need a semicolon in the end. That's what we need. So this is now, you see the difference. Now we have one line of code here one line of code and I just wrote down the formula directly how it is uh, times three and you say here hey this is variable one plus variable two not with input one input two divided by three and then placeholders and stuff like this so we don't need this here right we don't need uh, any of this so this will have the same same result as what we had earlier Right. So you see one big advantage of SCL is optimizing our code, minimizing uh, calculations here. So and I can also go online here. I pressed the wrong online button. I can go online here and I can also observe everything that is going on. Right. I can see my output, the one on top here, number three is 60. That's exactly what we had. I have input, uh, I have those two variables, 13 and 7 times 3, that's 60. So that's exactly what's going on here. Right. So SCL, one huge advantage of SCL is actually minimizing, like, 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 not minimizing, but optimizing your code, especially when it comes to mathematical operations. Right. Um, let's see. I can also put more than one. Right. I can put more than one of those mathematical expressions in one network. So I can just take that. I want my variable here again. Right. I could now take um, integer three, for example, again. Uh, let's not take integer. sorry. Let's take this real number here, for example. Let's put it here. So this should be an out, uh, this a real number is with decimal point, right? With decimal point, I just take this real number and I just say, hey, it's the output that we had divided by, uh, let's say three again. Here we go, done. Let's see, I download this and you see it's, it's so easy, it's so, easy actually doing all of this oh divided by three that's going to be the same result yeah it's 20 20.0 20 maybe let's make this by seven so that we also have a decimal point that we can see it you see how easy it is to change now something in here um ba -ba 60 divided by seven that's not eight 60 divided by seven that is definitely not eight so one problem that we have right now is with data types and if you have a wrong data type, you can just use a typecast, a so-called, right? A so-called typecast. And the typecast we want here is actually int to real, which will make this integer variable that we have, right? This integer variable will be turned into a real variable. So with a 
comma value and that should hopefully change our result here uh, yeah now we have 8.57 something right so we can also do typecasting very easy in SCL so mathematic operations very very easy one more of course the very famous increment and, and decrement stuff so I can also take um, this one here for example integer four right the real number four that I have and I can also write plus equal sign plus equal sign means hey the number that we already have plus whatever is here on the right side will go back into the number right so this will be funny now um, because every cycle we go into here whoops of course the semicolon is missing every cycle we go into this um, this program exert we will actually increase number four by the amount that's in number five right we are going to increase it right now that's pretty good um oh we already have something in here let me just revert that modify to zero so now it's zero right and every cycle like we, this happens every cycle we're uh, adding up so we can now basically say hey plus 0 0.1 and every program cycle we're adding up 0 0.1 on this number right so we're incrementing it by 0 0.1 of course a usual increment would be not 0 1 but 1 this was just an example now we're incrementing it by 1 every cycle with this plus equal sign i can also write division equal sign that would divide the number and save it in the same variable times equal sign that would multiply the number every time of course by one doesn't make any change um, i can also say minus equal sign i can also say plus equal sign and i can add the same number which is now basically doubling the number every time we are here stuff like this everything's so easy in scl one of the huge advantages that we have here of course there's more things we can do this was the first video on scl that i made here um, more to come because there's a lot to do with this i usually use scl when i have like like a closed program uh, problem that would just be way too big if i would program it in another language <clears throat> but i have never really seen a problem that i needed scl for i could have done it with other languages but i just used it for an optimized way of programming like in this case mathematical operations good um yeah, that's it already. That's the basics of S of mathematics in SCL. I hope this is any helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you like this, leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.